video is about musculoskeletal injuries, or MSIs, and the steps that Nova Scotia's home care and home support workers can take to avoid them. MSIs are the most common type of injury reported by home support and home care workers. These sprain and strain injuries to the muscles, tendons, and joints can cause discomfort, pain, stiffness, and in some cases, an inability to use the affected part of the body. The good news is that we know how to reduce the risk of these all too common injuries. To help you understand more about these injuries, let's ask an expert. Hi, I'm Sean Button, ergonomist with the Workers' Compensation Board of Nova Scotia. We know that MSIs are a result of four main hazards. These hazards include forceful exertions, awkward or sustained postures, repetitive movements, and tasks or movements performed over a long period of time. In this video, we will review common tasks performed by home support workers. Potential hazards will be identified, and some possible solutions will be reviewed to show how the chance of a musculoskeletal injury can be reduced. As we go through the video, think about the key hazards of forceful exertions, awkward postures, repetitive tasks, and long duration activities. Can you see these hazards in the different tasks shown in the video? And can you think of different, safer ways to do the work? Hi, Arda. Hi, Cindy. How are you doing? I'm great, thank you. Is that nice out? Yes, it's beautiful. So the reason that we're here today is because we're going to look at some MSIs because three-year studies have been done. And during that time, they've noticed that three areas of the house are where there's some concerns. So we're going to look at the bedroom, we're going to look at the kitchen, and we're going to look at the laundry room. And we have a fella, John, who's going to meet with us. He's from the Workers' Compensation Board. He's going to do his own assessment, and then we can see what he comes up All with. All right, okay? that's great. Oh, good eye, Ardeth. You just avoided a tripping <laughs> hazard. Good eye. Hello, Chris. It's Ardeth here from VON. Hi, Ardeth. Hi. Brought a friend. Hi, Chris. We spoke hi. on the phone. I'm hi. Cindy Withrow, the supervisor. Oh, hi, Cindy. Hi, how are you doing today? Not too bad. Oh, you know what? We've got a great day out there. Oh, it's lovely. Come on in. Yeah, things are starting to dry up a little bit now, all that sun. It's lovely out. So we're going to do an assessment, and is it okay that we walk through the house? Oh, yeah. We have a colleague that's going to come join us. His name's Sean. He's going to do an assessment as well. Hi, Chris. Uh, my name is Sean. I'm from the Workers' Compensation Board, and I'm going to be helping out here today just doing the review of your house, see if there's any, anything we can find that might uh, cause some injuries and see if we can solve any of those problems. Sounds good. All right. So should we get started maybe in the laundry room? Sounds good. I will just stay out of your way. Okay. <laughs> Sounds good. All right. Oh, Arda, I don't know if that's a good idea for you to carry that basket down the stairs. Do you have another option? Well, you know, I brought these laundry bags with me. Oh, okay, that's great. One important thing is, is when we're introducing like a, a solution to a problem, and so we're, the solution is our, our bag and we're using the bag so that we can have one hand on the rail, one important thing to keep in mind is that we're not introducing a new way to get injured. Um, and so when we have the, the laundry bag, you don't want to overfill it so it's too heavy and puts added strain on the body. So that's just something to, to keep in mind. That's great. Thank you very much, Sean. No problem. That works. So this is one area that we've seen over and over and again with different organizations that's a, a cause for concern and a, a risk for, for different types of injuries. Yeah, this is the one that they were talking about in that three-year study that this was uh, part of an issue. And truthfully, this is so much better. It's so much better for my back. Um, I'm, not, I'm not hurting, I'm not leaning as much. Other times I've had to use a chair sometimes and sit in a chair and then put, feed the laundry in so it's working much better. Definitely the laundry is, is raised up off of the floor and that adds some height that's in between your, your knees and your shoulders now. Good. Let's move to the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> Ardeth, 
Cardiff, I really like that you wash your hands with soap and water. I find sometimes that when you use hand sanitizer, it changes the taste of the food. It does. Yeah. What's for lunch? Oh, we're going to have chili. Perfect. How do you like the, the height of the, the countertop here? This is great. The, um, when I worked at the table, it was too low for my back and I was finding it challenging. However, I'm looking at this hand opener and I wonder if there might be something else that's less needing a muscle. I wonder if they have a different one. Can you imagine opening these cans with this can opener? Oh. Why don't we try this one? It'd be a little bit easier on your hands. Yes, oh, I like that. Okay, that's gonna work. I can't wait for lunch. So one of the issues with cleaning the shower is there's so much reaching high and reaching low, um, and there's a greater risk of falling. Do you have any suggestions that could help us? The government has helped by giving us some funding for our bathroom scrubby. So hopefully we're gonna give this to everyone. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah, so as you can see, one of the benefits of that is you get to keep your arms tucked in tight. You don't have a lot of reaching going on when you're trying to clean the, the bottom parts of the shower or the top parts of the shower. And it would be even better for a tub because if you're standing outside the tub, you don't have to reach as far, you don't have to lean in to clean the tub surround. This is really great. Another tool that I see is the mop that we have here. We're encouraging families to uh, provide us with the spin mop and it's so beneficial. It allows you to stand upright while you're using it so you're not bending over to wring it out and so you can be in a nice posture, which is excellent. Those are great tools, thank you. Bathroom done. Bathroom done. <laughs> Cindy, this is the machine I was speaking to you about. It's uh, difficult on the back. It's broken right here. Oh my gosh, is it ever broken? I can see how that would put a lot of strain on your body. That's uh, I'm glad you identified that. Definitely. What would you guys normally do in this situation? Well, you know what? I talked to Chris. He actually went and bought another one. So he's got a brand new one in the closet so we don't have to bother using that one. Great. So this is great because we can see the three sides of the bed, so it's easy to get around. There is a, a dog bed over here. Do you want me to push this in so you have access to all the sides? Yes, that'd be great. Thank you. So you know, Artith, that there's a lot of homes that we go into that we don't have access to the whole bed. So in that case, send a progress note in and then we will do some problem solving with the homeowner to make sure that we do have full access. Thank you. That's good to know. So another thing to, to add here is one of the ways that we find some people get injured when working with the, the bed here is a lot of reaching, trying to extend yourself over. So that's something to, to keep in mind when you are trying to make the bed. If you're at home and you're doing one bed one day with yourself, that's okay. But when you get that repetitiveness of doing this kind of multiple times a day, that really increases the, the chance of injury. So uh, important to, to keep that in mind. Good point, thank you. So when we're working in tight spaces like this, sometimes in homes there's really nothing we can do. So we really want to make sure that we're using good body postures and having good body awareness. So we want to try and make sure that we're avoiding as much as possible a lot of twisting. So making sure that your, your feet are facing in, in front of you, maybe have the bag in front of you as well in between yourself and the washer, as long as you're not reaching too, too much. I can use that information for the others when I go in to do some coaching. That's perfect. Yeah. Let's go. So Ardith, how does that bag feel in comparison to a basket? This is great because I can hold on to the handrails when I'm walking, so it's much safer. Awesome. So Ardith, how does that feel for folding laundry? This is good. This is good because I'm not bending so far. It's a, it's a better height. So on some homes that we go into, the bed's rather low. So when that happens, you can put some strain on your back. So maybe an alternative would be to take the laundry to the dining room table or even the kitchen table. That way it's a little higher, the same as this bed is. I think that's also a good suggestion. I think we're getting close to wrapping up. I'll be with you in just a couple minutes. Sounds good. Okay. All right.
Chris, you, you got a great house here, and today really it allowed us to, to go around and look at some areas that we might be able to improve and make things a little bit easier for Ardeth and maybe some of the work that she does here. Glad to have been a help to you guys. And thank you, Ardeth, for helping us identify some of the different tasks that might be giving you some problems and, and problem solving with us to come up with some better solutions. And always remember that if you run into any issues when you're in anybody else's home, make sure that you let us know, progress note that. We can come in and help do some problem solving as well. Thank you to both of you for being here today. I know it's helped Chris because I'm going to be able to help him better and safer, for sure. Yeah, Excellent. and really excited about that chili. It <laughs> smells delicious. Yes, Thank does. you. This video has shown a selection of tasks that workers in Nova Scotia's home care and home support industries do regularly. MSIs resulting from these tasks are common, especially when these tasks include forceful exertions, repetition, and awkward or sustained postures. You've also seen how sometimes simple changes to how tasks are done can help reduce the risk of injury, and that collaboration between workers, their colleagues, their supervisor, and when needed, some expert advice can go a long way in reducing the musculoskeletal injury risk for all Nova Scotia's home care and home support workers.